Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to the logical journey of the Zumbinis. Today, we're going back to the Allergic Cliffs on the very hard rating, performing the algorithmic solution here. Very similar to the last two, pretty much the same deal. Start with someone who has free things in common with someone else, so she's a good one. Alright. So we'll put her up here. He only has different hair. Alright, cool. Let's try her as well. Alright. So looking at this, either she's allergic to ponytails or glasses, or he's allergic to sunglasses, perhaps. Because keep in mind, he's one of the closest allergic to two fiends, but they're two fiends from different traits. So it can't be two fiends from the same eyes. So I'm going to say sunglasses he's allergic to. Let's try that. Okay, not quite. Alright, it seems the upper cliff is allergic to ponytail hair, so that's good. Let's put all the ponytails down here. So ponytail hair is one trait they're allergic to. Which means the other trait they're allergic to will either be eyes, nose, or feet. Well, we know it's not. F hmm. All right. We'll have we'll have we'll have to sort more of that out later. Let's see if it's bicycles. Nope. Bicycles don't matter. Oh, here's another ponytail. All right. He's good. And he's good. <laughs> And he's good. And he's good. Okay. So this cliff was allergic to ponytail hair, and then either sleepy eyes or sprain feet. Either way, though, that was a pretty simple puzzle. You got them all through! Obviously, we want to do that again just to make sure the algorithm works multiple times and it wasn't just a fluke. So again, find two Zumbinis that differ only by one trait, so this guy and that guy work very well. Alright, he can cross. He can cross. She can cross. How about this guy? Yep. Yep. Okay. Interesting. Now, all of these Zumbinis have purple noses, so right now I'm saying, all right, purple noses was probably something this cliff was allergic to, so let's try throwing some Zumbinis up on the top cliff. That seemed to work. Uh-oh. Well, it's not noses that she's allergic to. Maybe it's feet. Or pink shoes. It's not pink shoes. So there is something about this Zumbini here that this cliff did not like. It could have been sleepy eyes, or it could have been a bowl cut. Either way, let's try this guy. Okay, so that cliff was allergic to purple noses and sleepy eyes, which means all the other Zumbinis can go up here. That worked out very well. You did it! Alright, one more time. With feeling this time. So again, find two Zumbinis that have three traits in common. It could be a little tougher to do on this one. Here we go. This guy, and that guy. Alright, so the cliff did not like that. That's okay, though. We'll put him on this bridge. And let's see if he can follow. No! Okay. So either that cliff is allergic to roller skates, or that cliff is allergic to propellers. Let's see if that cliff's allergic to propellers. Alright, that cliff was allergic to propellers. Excellent. Now let's try to find another trait that they're allergic to. 
That's fine. And that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Looks like propellers and purple noses. That cliff does not look like. Because we know it's not uh, ponytails, because we've got a ponytail zooming on that side. It's definitely not sunglasses. We have two sunglasses. It's not uh, s uh, pink shoes, because we have someone with pink shoes. So by process of elimination, it must be a purple nose. And I'm assuming <laughs> it's this cliff who's allergic, because all the propeller guys were accepted up here, and they weren't accepted down there. So, all right. Purple noses, you go up there. Then the red nose guys, you go down here. And there you have it. <laughs> You did it! You saved them all! And that's a simple way to get through the allergic cliffs on Very Hard. Thanks for watching, I'm Colorful Artie. Hope to see you next episode. We'll be doing that again, but using the heuristic solution for the Very Hard. Hope to see you then. Have a great day, and God bless.